We're getting down to the wire on the awards promo and time is running out. So if you're going to be grabbing a 95 or maybe even two 95 masters in this promo, you probably want to watch this video. Cue the intro. Hey guys, what's good? Rising Phoenix One. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Hey, this video is presented by the EA Creator Network. All right, all right, all right. It is the weekend and that means today, Saturday, and tomorrow, Sunday, are the last two days of the awards promo. So if you are no money spent and you're going for one of these 95 overalls, or if you get a little lucky, maybe even two, we're going to do some gameplay with all of them, and maybe that will help you with the choice or choices you're going to make. All right, so we have two lineups here that we're going to be playing Showdown with. And I've heard that the AI is hot as heck today and is burying all its shots. So we're going to find out if that's true in a minute. So we'll see how it goes. You can see I have Bradley Beal in here. I got lucky on the uh, Bob pack and pulled this Bradley Beal card. So we're just putting him in our lineups. We're gonna have two different lineups. The first one we're gonna play with is this power lineup. And we've got De'Aaron Fox, Beal, Bancaro, and Triple J, Jaron Jackson Jr. We're not gonna spend a lot of time going through the stats. We did a video yesterday on the 97s and went through the stats on those cards in detail. And basically, these 95s have attributes that are one or two lower than the 97s. And here we'll take a quick look at that with De'Aaron Fox, and you can see how that plays out. All right, so De'Aaron Fox. Um, pretty good athleticism for a 95. Decent rebounding, decent inside offensive game, terrific perimeter shooting game, lousy defense. Pretty good playmaking, and that's about it for this Darren Fox. He has a plus two shooting boost to position. Just to take a quick look at Bradley Beal, there you go. We're not going to talk about his stats other than the fact that obviously he's got some pretty good perimeter shooting stats, and that's Bradley Beal. Just be aware that this Beal is a 94, not a 95. All right, so we get to Bancaro, and here we go. There's his stats, athleticism, you know, it's all right, I guess, for a 95 overall. His inside scoring looks pretty good. Perimeter shooting is kind of low, um, but my experience has been this card shoots. Defense is pretty good, actually, and he has some pretty good playmaking stats, too. And that's it for Van Caro. Then we go to Triple J, Jaron Jackson Jr., 87s at rebounding, so, you know, kind of low for a power forward. I have not been getting very many rebounds with either the 97 or the 95 version of this card. He does have decent athleticism stats for a 95, decent inside scoring stats for a 95, and his defense looks pretty good, as does his perimeter shooting. He has a plus two defense boost to position, and I forgot to say Ben Caro has a plus two playmaking boost to position. And then that takes us to our two remaining cards, Malcolm Brogdon, and there you go. I mean, athleticism stats are all right. Good rebounding for a point guard, decent inside scoring, decent perimeter shooting, really nice defense. His playmaking stats aren't that good, to be honest and he has a plus two inside scoring boost to position. And then finally, last but by no means least, one of my favorite cards in this promo, Laurie Markinen out of position at small forward. There you go. Um, athleticism stats, again, they're just mediocre. Um, his rebounding stats, his defensive rebounding stats look good at 90, and this card does get rebounds. Ben Caro gets rebounds. Inside scoring looks all right. Perimeter shooting is pretty good. His defense looks very good. And that's about it for Markinen. And Markinen has a plus two shooting boost to position. All right, that's our guys. We're gonna jump into Showdown and play two. First with this power lineup, and then with this strategic lineup. Let's do it. All right, we have a uh, 
not, not too tank. This is probably a 97, 97 or a 98, probably a 97 overall starting lineup. It's a multi-year lineup. We have a finesse zone. So we're gonna be going to the slot as much as we can right there with Bradley Beal and he missed it, oh my. An open 106 and he missed it, not a good start. Let's go, let's go, come on. He's got Bosch in there, he's got that Wallace card, which was an OP card. Oh jeez, there he is, <laughs> speak of the devil. All right, let's go, Bancaro. Boom, nothing but net from the wing. Oh boy. Oh boy, Chris Bosch. No way to defend that play. No way to defend it that I've been able to figure out. There we go. D. Aaron Fox buries it. No surprise there. This card is a bucket. All right, let's go. Come on. Ugh. Ugh. Let's go. What are you doing? You guys just wasting time? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Well, we're a minute in, and it is six to six. Come on, come on, De'Aaron, pop it. Boom, boom. Challenged, okay, okay. It went in, that's what matters. That's going in. Jeez. Well, it's clear what I heard is right. The AI is on fire today. Hopefully, we can have two very different halves. Boom, that's Triple J. Uh, two very different halves to our drive here, right? Come on. That happens sometimes, as you all know. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I told you they're hitting everything. All right, come on. We got to go with De'Aaron. We need points. There we go. There we go. All right, we're up by a big fat five points with a minute to go. Jeez Louise, come on. Come on, get a steal. Get a steal. Come on, De'Aaron. All right, get the block, get the ball. All right. Gonna go with Bradley Beal from the wing and he buries it. He's in the game, so I'm gonna use him. He's in the promo. Gosh darn it. He's playing against a taller point guard. Come on, come on, come on. What the? Oh, they missed. They finally missed. Come on, let's go. Let's go. De'Aaron Fox in the slot. That's going down. Boom. All right, let's see if we can't get a couple more possessions here. Come on. Come on. Oh, jeez, I cannot get steals with Fox. Oh, no. Oh, no. How did that go in? How did that go in? Feet set. It's going in. Feel, catch and shoot, boom. All right, let's get it back. Come on, De'Aaron. There, finally, finally. You can, you can bet who we're gonna take this last shot with. Let's go. De'Aaron Fox buries it. Don't you even think about it. All right, all right, 27 to 12. Lots of points scored all the way around, plus 15. That'll probably be enough. And it is probably autoplay, and it's an easy dub. Okay, oh my, oh my. Uh, yeah, this is not a 94 overall starting lineup. It's probably a 99, tanked about five overalls. You got a 102 shooting guard, a 99 point guard, LeBron in there. Oh, that Embiid monthly master card. Oh boy, uh, yeah, this should be interesting. All right, let's do it. Let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. We're gonna start with Beal again, give him another chance. Top of the key, deep, boom, boom. There you go, <laughs> contested. It's open, it doesn't go in. Contested, nothing but that. <laughs> nice, Mount oh shoot. That was Beal who got the swipe, they got it back. And luring marking it, grabbing boards. He gets a lot of boards, especially defensive boards. Buries that deep from the near wing. Yeah, this is a this is a pretty good card. No Embiid. Oh jeez. 
and be a 79-3, and he buries it. All right, come on, Brogdon. Oh, he missed. Rebound by Triple J. I don't think I've had a rebound with 95 Triple J yet, so maybe there's hope, right? Maybe there's hope. Let's go. There you go. There you go, Blake. Get it to Lori Markinen again from the wing. Boom. Boom. 11 to 3. Good start. But these guys are going to start scoring. Their, their overalls are just too high for it not to happen. LeBron. Oh, jeez. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Let's go. Malcolm Brogdon. Bury it from the wing. Boom. Boom. 14 to 3. Halfway point. This is when things tend to change, but look at that steal by Brogdon. We're going to take it in with him. Boom. That was almost like a three-quarter court give and go, right? <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. There he goes. There he goes. 16 to 5. Time to take a shot outside with Triple J from the wing, and he buries it. Boom. Boom. Where's the charge? Oh, my. Oh, my. That was not a flop either. We set it up perfectly. Ah, uh, all right. All right. Help. No? Okay. These guys are missing their shots. Markinen's getting the board when they do, and he's burying his shots, and it's 22 to 5. With 25 seconds to go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh, LeBron. Jeez. Jeez. That was a power drive by a 98 season three LeBron. We're going to go with Brogdon from the wing. Buries it. Boom. Boom. Can we get it back? Can we get it back? Come on. No. Oh, jeez. Last possessions. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Let's go. I'm going to try to close it out here with a buzzer beater by Brogdon. If we can get one from the slot. He missed it, unfortunately. Uh, plus 15, just like the other one. Uh, this one, they scored their points in the second half of the drive, right? Uh, okay. So, yeah, they won their drive, but we won the game. A nine-point dub, and we'll take that. Okay, so I think these cards played very well. I think I played horrible defense. So, mindful of that, you know, your choices are a point guard, Fox or Brogdon. Clearly, Fox is the better shooter. I think Brogdon is a better all-around player. Then we get to our shooting guards, Lori Markinen versus Bancaro. I got to tell you, it's Markkinen. To me, it's Markkinen, no contest, seven-footer, and he buries his shots, and he gets boards. Ben Caro hits his shots, but not as consistently as Markkinen, and Ben Caro gets boards as well. And then our last guy is Jaron Jackson Jr. Obviously, he can score from the perimeter. He can score from the inside. I'm just not feeling it, though, for this card because rebounds 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 and i really think that one offensive rebound he got was the first rebound this 95 overall card has gotten and i played multiple games with these cards uh, earlier in the week so um, you know just be aware of that it depends if you want a power forward that can shoot and you're not concerned about rebounding from your power forward then this could be a card for you. So guys, good luck with this promo. Good luck with your choices. Hopefully this has been a little bit helpful anyway. And with that, it's over, it's done. We're out of here. There's no more. And as always, peace out.